Hello, everyone. Good morning. I think my video is cutting out a little bit, but I'm just going to start talking. So good morning, you guys, and thank you all for joining me today. Um, I'm Hannah. This is Hearts Need Art, and we have a little project today. And my little project here, I'm actually going to pick a random viewer today, and she's going to join me on our project. And I'm super excited for this. I hope you are too. Um, so, drum roll, please. Ready, 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 ready. Who's our, who's our person? Woo! <laughs> it's oh my gosh, thank you for picking me, Hannah. Yes, you're welcome. I just picked you and you just happened to be ready. So, oh you're the God. best, Sanzi. You are the I, best. And I just happened to have my, my art stuff. I know. Yeah, I know. That was, I mean, you always, well. tune, you always tune in anyway. So why am I surprised? I should not be surprised. I'm right. See? <laughs> so we have a lovely little project today. We're going to be doing watercolor with crayons. It's technically called a resist, but I'm just going to call it watercolor with, with crayons. So we're going to be um, using our lovely piece of paper. I have my little watercolor pans right here. Ta-da! Oh, look at you! Fancy! I know. Beautiful! I have my brushes as well. Um, and I think we're ready to get started. But I would like for Stanzi to tell us a little bit more about herself. Um, she is actually our founder, the founder of Hearts Need Art. So super happy to have you here. She's very artsy, as you can tell. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> So I am not a professional artist like Hannah is, but I am a professional musician. So you may recognize this as our you know, the music stand, not a um, uh, an easel. <laughs> There's a lot of similarities. So I'm going to make it work. Um, and yes, I'm the founder of Hearts Need Art, and our mission is... Um, to create moments of joy, self-expression, and connection for those facing life-altering health challenges through arts engagement, advocacy, and innovation. And it's our vision. Um, our vision is universal accessibility of arts engagement to help everyone feel seen, heard, and loved while facing life-altering health challenges. And normally we would be in the hospital working directly with patients uh, but because of COVID-19 we're working virtually with patients and caregivers and then live streaming to you guys because we know really basically the whole world is dealing with life-altering health challenges right now um, so we're so glad that you tuned in um, and one of the things that people have been doing is going to our website to write notes to patients and caregivers and thank you so much to everyone who's doing that and I just wanted to read one of those notes those notes out loud today um, this is this note is from Carol, and she wanted to write a note to a, a medical provider. Um, and so she said, "Dear amazing healthcare worker, my prayer for you today: Lord, give them strength and wisdom when others need their touch, a soothing word to speak to them. Their hearts yearn for so much. Give them joy and laughter to lift a weary soul." Pour in them compassion to make the broken care workers. We're so proud of you guys and so grateful. And if you want to write a note to a patient or a caregiver that's in the hospital right now, you can go to the link that's down there. Um, one of the one of the things that we do is we provide individual art sessions for caregivers when they're feeling burned out, when they just need a little creative break, and we offer those. We're able to offer those to them for free because of people like you guys who support us and and donate to us. Oh yeah, thank you, Richard. This is the this is the link. So if you're a healthcare worker or a caregiver, you can actually make an appointment, a private appointment with with Hannah, with Jaime, with one of our writers. Like we, you can make those appointments here. Um, but we're so grateful to those of you who support our work. And one of the fun ways you can do that this weekend is we're having another Create for a Cause event. Um, it's going to be this Saturday from 4 to 5.30. And you can sign up and your whole family can do a really fun Easter-themed art project that Hannah will be leading us through. Hannah, you're over here. <laughs> and uh, so you can go to our website, heartsandart.org slash create for a cause and register for that. We don't have a ton of space for that. So make sure you do that soon. Um, that's coming up this Saturday. 
Um, anyway, that's all I have, but I can't wait to start painting, to start, you know, doing things so you can see how, how wonderful my hand-eye coordination is. <laughs> So take it away, Hannah. Teach me. Teach me your ways. So can you hear me? I can. Yes. Okay. I can't hear you. Oh. Yeah. That's fun. I don't know why, but if you can hear me, that's okay. I can hear you, Hannah. I'm sorry. I don't know why. But let's just let's just go for it, okay? Okay. I will. <laughs> I'll chat to you. I'll send chat to you if I have questions. <laughs> so we're just going to dive into it, okay? Yes. So I have my paper in the background. Um, we're gonna get started with the crayons and I'm gonna get started with my orange. So I just happen to have lots and lots and lots of crayons. So I'm gonna choose, choose an orange that I like. I'm just gonna go pick one, that one. <laughs> choose an orange. I'm also gonna reach for my brown. So orange and brown, if you will look back at the picture, and by the way, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so there you go. So if you want to, you can work like this where it's in portrait mode, or you can move it around to landscape mode, whichever one you want, okay? And I still can't hear anything, but that's okay. Oh, I can well. hear you. <laughs> So I have my lovely brown and how many flowers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, five flowers with brown in it. And then down here, the middle of the flowers, I, I, I think I circled it with orange um, for each of these. So that's a little, a slightly different step, slightly different colors, but it really doesn't matter how many of these flowers you have in your picture. Um, I am going to start off by let me stand up, doing my circles. This is going to be the middle of my flower. And if I want to, I can scribble some other circles around it like that. Hopefully you can see that way. Yep. Now there's my big flower. I can come down here, do another flower. All we're doing is drawing the middles. Let's just squeeze one in maybe down here. It's going to be slightly different. No, no, no. I'm going to squeeze one up here. I'm pressing down hard, by the way. Okay. And I do that because whenever I put in the uh, the watercolors, uh, I'm going to want it want that resist. I'm going to want that crayon resist gonna look really cool so there's five flowers in there if you want to squeeze in some more that's okay just leave a little bit of space for our flowers and next step oh keep going keep going all right I got it yay Beautiful. Excellent. I even left a little bit of space and you did too. I left a little bit of space for some of our vines too. Keep in mind later on, you can squeeze those vines in anywhere you want to, but priority is our flowers. So let's jump into our orange. Excellent. So I always, I know you've been keeping up with my, <laughs> with my videos, but I always like to overlap my petals. So it's up to you whether or not you want to do this or not. Okay. My petals are pointy. If you can see that, and I'm going to be jumping back and forth. So from here, I'll do that. Then I'll do that one. Then I'll do that one and that one and that one and that one and so on. So as okay. many petals as you feel like fitting in there. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Start up here. 
pointy petals. It can be really big or it can be really small. So over here, I can just kind of start one out for you. That way you can see the difference oh. and choose based off of that. Okay. Once again, pressing down hard. And then once we layer, that's gonna be the fun part. I love that effect. And then oh, jump thank you, Misty. here, just like that. Same thing with our little petals. I feel like doing it this way sort of, at least for me, it relieves the pressure of having to put the petals in just the right spot. And it just sort yeah. of creates a pretty effect. Next side. And then I think I'm on my last petals here. Sunflowers are always fun just because the, the petals can be any size and shape. Oh, look at you. I'm so Yay, proud. <laughs> Yay. Next I can do this. I can't wait to see what it looks like, especially since you're doing it in landscape mode. Totally, it's gonna be totally different. Can you tell we're living in the 20th century if I'm calling it landscape mode? <laughs> Portrait mode. Portrait mode, <laughs> landscape mode. No, I can't actually tell if this is even or not, but that's okay. Now our very first step as we're doing is just to keep on adding those petals to our circles here. So while we're doing that, I'll just sort of talk about some of the other things that we do here at Hearts Need Art. We have our lovely Create for a Cause event, which I don't know if you actually, you did? Okay, good. <laughs> I just keep but talk about it, keep going. Okay, <laughs> okay good. Oh my goodness. So we also have office hours though. So did you talk about that? No. You did? Okay. You look at you. You're already on top of it. <laughs> okay, um, then um, adopt an artist. Go, go. No, I didn't talk about it. No, you didn't? No. Okay, woohoo. <laughs> so if you wanted to, <laughs> you could adopt any of our artists. So you can adopt me, you can adopt any of our musicians. Um, you can adopt Judy, she's our resident writer. And basically you would be helping out with, um, uh, on a, month, a monthly donation. So it's a monthly, monthly donation. And if you do that, you'll get to read um, parts of our artist reports. Um, we have to type in a little something about some of our projects throughout the week. So you'll get to see some of our thoughts and you'll get to see uh, a little bit more about what we do and what's going on through our minds and some lovely interactions that we've had. Um, normally these would be with patients, but of course we have our lovely live streams that we're doing now. But if you subscribe monthly, you'll be able to help us out in that way. And I always like, I like that it's called Adopt an Artist because I feel special and I feel loved. You can adopt <laughs> Anna, she's awesome. And her, her reports are super sweet and the interactions that she has are really cool. Okay. Can I see your Stanzi? Just to check in. Yay, cute. You have a big paper too. You can totally add more if you wanted to. Right? Okay, all the flowers. <laughs> exactly. Or more vines. Whenever we get to the vines, you can add a lot of vines too. That'll be really pretty. All right. So I think this one, maybe I'll add little petals down here. Cute. <coughs> Woo. The allergies are killing me today. Now I'm continuing to press down hard. Don't forget about that part. Okay. Maybe this one I'll have really 
big petals. Ooh. Mine's had the little deformed petals here. I'm still here. just kind of jumping around everywhere too. Don't be afraid that if you if you wanted to do big petals, you can always like don't like this little flower here is kind of in the way, but I'm just going underneath it like that. Um, jumping over my lines as needed. Almost done. There. Now, at any point in time, you can switch over. Oh, there you go. Yay. I think we can both move on to the next part. Now, yep, ready. we have these flowers, right? Okay. So I just kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit when I was making these flowers. Um, I think I used like a, a mauve-ish kind of color for the crayon. For the middle, I used orange. So we can start with orange. Or you can mix it up. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Crap. Got it. Go. Got it. So orange for the middle. Perhaps I'll put them down here. Start off like we would normally. Okay. Now I'm going to raise my thing up a little bit so you can see it. There we go. And then take your color of choice. It can be purple, it can be blue, it can be fancy colors like this one. Whatever you have at your disposal. Dark yep. there? Okay, perfect. Beautiful. And then draw your petals as you would normally. Big petals or little petals, anything you'd like. There. Just to show a little bit up close the difference between all of those colors. Personally, I love the contrast of different colors. I always like to I always like to try to surprise myself to see what what two colors will look like side by side. I'm almost done. Yeah, we get to add our watercolors after this. Yay. Yay. Oh, yeah, are you adding extra flowers? Nice. Cute. Super cute. I'm pretty proud. I think we can add our flowers cute. now, or our <laughs> colors now. So I'm thinking we can um, color in the middles first. And then okay. we can add our vines. I'm going to squeeze some in here in a little bit. And of course, up here, um, I'm thinking we can sort of use the, uh, the petals as a warm up for whenever we do our vines. So I got my brush. Now, as far as brushes are concerned, my favorite and my go to, yes, always that pointy brush. You got it. Okay. But if you guys are doing this at home, you can use any brush at your disposal. And I will actually show you guys which or how to use these brushes, just in case you don't have a pointy brush. So this one here, but my go-to, always this one. So I'm gonna start off with this one. Um, got my water. I like to give a little bit of water beforehand. So just sort of take my water, tap it like that. In the yellow. Let it soak for like 10 seconds, whatever. So I did the orange first. I'm sorry, I did the yellow first. Oh, okay. I'm gonna Great. do orange. 
I'll do a little red. And then I'll do brown over here. But for anyone watching at home, any colors you want to use, it's up to you. And like I always say, I love to see y'all's pictures and I love to see anything that you guys do. Sometimes people will private message me their pictures and I love it. Like it's That's so, so fun. to see everything. Um, so yeah, don't forget to show us. Even if you mix it up, even if you do something crazy, I'd love to see it. So now that I have my water on my brown there, gonna take my brush, get a little bit of that, and then you'll be able to see some of the uh, crayon resist. Do you guys hear my cat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised Jelly. my dog has been this quiet. <laughs> She's the one that wants attention all the time. Brown, okay. I love her. We love her. Jelly, what are you doing? So all I'm doing is taking my brush, spreading it in the middle. <laughs> now, here's what it looks like if you use a flat brush. So if you use a flat brush, same thing. You'll just have to be a little bit careful about the edges. So especially if you're going on a round area with a square brush, just watch out for your edges. That's all. Watch out for those corners. Like that. And you can even do it in all the small areas too. Same thing for this brush. If you have this brush, we call this a filbert. So this is my second go-to brush, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Do I have one of those? This is my second go-to brush. I love this one. I don't think I have one of those. <laughs> Same thing. This one's kind of an in-between, between a square and a round. Yeah. Now, once you get to down here, your two, your different flowers, um, all you have to do is rinse your brush and go straight into your orange. Got it. Oh no, I didn't do you. I didn't do orange. I did oh. yellow in the middle. Oh, okay. I got this. But if you want to do orange, you definitely can. Getting my brushes mixed up. So I did yellow. So that's what I'll do here. Love that contrast. I think it's so pretty. And whenever we actually fill in the petals here, it's crazy easy. I'm not even gonna stay inside the lines. Wow. You, <laughs> I always love to, I love doing projects that will allow me to scribble or to go over the lines and break the rules. Want to see mine? Am I doing okay? Beautiful. Awesome. You did the yellow in the middle. Yay. I, yeah, that's lovely. Okay. okay. So I have my now clean brush. Um, I'm going to get my yellow and you will see how crazy easy it is. Since we did that crayon resist, I don't even have to worry about staying inside the lines. All I have to worry about is painting the middle. Now, the pointy brush will be easier for you to um, point on the inside of those petals like that. See how I'm holding the brush? Pointy part pointing towards the point, if that makes sense. Try saying that five times. Pointy part pointing pointy towards part, the point. point. <laughs> I, I, really, I really bet you can do it, Sanzi. <laughs> pointy part pointing towards the line. Pointy part pointing towards the line. I don't know. I think I got it. Uh, well. <laughs> 
I'll listen to it later. Yeah. <laughs> Since I can hear you. Now, if you wanted to experiment a little bit with different colors, then please feel free to do that. I'm kind of mixing it the, uh, the color wheel. I want to say blue is the opposite of orange on the color wheel. Well, I'm mixing I really like, need to have like a... Yeah. I'm mixing these Oh, yeah. Colors. See, I'm you have like a nice them. little ochre color there. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Paired. But yeah, like if you wanted to contrast colors on top of each other, um, because that crayon, we press down really hard on it. Um, so it shouldn't really show like the 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 colors themselves should resist. So you should still be able to see that um, that crayon color. This is so fun. I'm such a and I'm super excited because our Create for a Cause event is going to use the same techniques, but with a little added bonus. Ooh, cool. I won't give away too much. Oh, yay. Color me excited. This Saturday from 4 to 5.30. We know you guys are missing out on your normal Easter celebration, so we wanted to help you. But yes, we'll be using the, the same technique but with markers added to it. Now here's what it looks like filling in the petals using your flat brush in case you have a flat brush. I'm go ahead and get more water onto my yellow here. Jelly, she might be looking for her sister. So here, if you wanted to, you could use the, the corners of your brush to fill in the points of the petal. But if not, you can always go around it like this. In my opinion, pretty easy to do it this way. And then you just use those corners like that. You can squish the brush down if you need to. Squish it down. This is super fun. And easy. I'll think about that. I kind of like using the, the flat brush for this part. Ooh, and if you accidentally go over top of the brown like I did, it makes a nice little ochre color. Mm. So it works cool. out. Yeah. Hi, Jelly. She might make an appearance. Oh. Don't get me up. And it's totally okay if you accidentally dip your brush into orange as well, because it works out and it spreads and it mixes really nicely. That's if you're using the yellow. Is there anyone, any viewers out there who want me to do a different color other than what you see here? No. If you all have any suggestions, anything you would like to see first before you actually attempt it yourself on your own paper, let us know in the comments. Maybe I will finish up this one piece here and if there's anyone who wants to see a certain color, I'll wait for that. And so while we're waiting, um, I'd like to introduce a new thing that we're gonna try. So next time I'm here giving an art tutorial, if you wanted to, all you really have to do 
uh, if you wanted to join me, actually, see, like there you go. Me. Join, join me on screen, April 16th, 10 a.m. Um, just send Richard a message or just message us through here. And we would love to have you um, be in the place of Stanzi and join me in doing a little project live. So you will be with me live. And I'm you super excited to see if anybody wants to actually join me. This I don't is know. Fun. We'll have to. <laughs> we'll work on we'll the do, so you can hear me. Ooh. Oh, do you ask for pink? Cool. I didn't hear what you said, Stanzi. I'm sorry, but if it was a fine. Point. It's fine. Okay. All right. This cool. Fine. I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you said Friday. I think that was Friday. <laughs> Close. Okay. So, do you ask for pink? Aw. <laughs> Thank you, Stanzi. Yay. <laughs> It's so Thanks funny how I feel like I need to yell, thing. but you guys can hear me. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so I'm thinking pink. I'll have this one be the pink flower. I think that would be a good, good place to put pink there. Yay. I'm really excited like for next week. And so is Jelly, too, if you can hear her. Richard, tell Hannah how awesome she is. Wait for it. Okay, almost done. Almost there. Awesome. Now, I'm going to try my best with that pink, okay? All I have is red. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Donzi. <laughs> this is how we'll be communicating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not exactly pink, Dia, but I hope you still like it. It's only because I don't have pink but I hope you like it. Now I think I'm ready to move on to my other flowers down here. That's good because I'm already these guys. <laughs> I'm I'm there. Oh, you you're way ahead of the game. <laughs> way faster than me. This happens to me all the time. Nice. So in this original picture, one of them's orange, another one's red, mm. and as always, do whichever color you want to do. As always, I'm gonna go to my lovely orange here. Mm -hmm. Because I did that resist, I can still see that purple underneath. I want to say purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. They look so nice next to each other. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really have a purple. Hmm. Then I think for the next one, I will go for really, really deep red. Let's see what happens there. And this cat is so cute. Oh, yeah. I'm coloring outside the lines. Still looks good. Perfect. 
probably after this, we'll be able to do the, the vines around here, which we can draw first. I'm thinking we can draw them first. Ooh, I like that one. Hmm. I like that a lot. Can I do another one of those? I did like orange and red in one of my puddles. I got really cool. I think I went outside my lines, but that's okay. <laughs> and then whenever you're ready, Stanzi, we can jump into our green crayon. I'm almost yeah. I'm on my last flower. And if you want to, I can even show you how to to mix some colors too to make like a, a darker green and a lighter green. Oh, cool. Maybe if you want to. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe before that. Perhaps before that, we can add some of that orange. Oh, I did that. Yeah, oh, it's cool. like blended on top of it. Hmm, okay, I like it. I'm gonna do Whenever more. Whenever you're ready, we can do that. I'm ready, Let's do it. Ready? Yeah, do it. awesome. So um, I'm going to clean my brush. Cause I don't, I don't oh yay. Time. That's pretty. Can Thanks. I see it again? That's really pretty. Yeah. So they're already orange. <laughs> right? <laughs> so if they're already Maybe. orange, then try going um, a color darker. So red perhaps might look good if you want to do that. Um, yellow is not really going to show up so much. So for you, you would do um, the red. Or you can go crazy and you can do purple, whatever you want. Um, I'm going to be using orange. And all I'm going to do is take a little bit of that. I always like to start off small and conservatively because you can always add more, but you can't really take any away. And that's why. Yeah, I just added too much. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here and start by pointing towards the round part and then swiping out. And if you wanted to, you could fill in these little sections here. I'm gonna make that optional. Hmm. But well, that's fun. Start towards the center and swipe out. Little swipes. It's very, very strong on mine. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the center because that's what I want to do for mine. Like that. And you could do it for more of your flowers if you want to. That's up to you. I'll give you take a couple minutes for that if you want. Yeah, I really like that effect. I just wanted to say too, for anyone watching, um, if you wanted to just make a small donation today as well, that would be amazing as well. Um, we really, we really do rely on those donations to continue what we do um, for this organization, for patients, for caregivers as well, for the nurse staff too. Um, it just allows us to continue working in the hospital with these patients. Um, I personally, I work in the outpatient facility and I also work uh, in the inpatient. So I'll do group art lessons. I will do um, what is it? Live art painting in the outpatient facility and also do collaborative projects where I try and get patients to paint alongside me um, so that eventually we can hang it up in the Bay areas and, and in the outpatient facility wherever everyone's at. 
Um, so collaborations as well, as well as small little take home projects that they can do. Um, for Christmas, actually, that was it was a really fun project at uh, uh, at Outpatient where we got little um, just from the dollar store. Um, a little, my dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get a lot. We get so much from the dollar store. Gabby. But they have so many good things that we can utilize and really like be creative with it. Um, but the, what's it, the blank ornaments that, that don't have anything in them. Here's my husband. Oh, hey, <laughs> are you painting with us or just no. watching? <laughs> We're both just working from home. Aww. <laughs> But um, those little ornaments, we we put paint inside of them, and then we we swirled it around and watched it swirl, um, and so it just it looks like little little planets, and we can put we could put glitter inside of them, so part of them um, were gl was glittery, and um, we were able to to draw with sharpie markers on the outside, so it was a lot of fun. We did that for a group activity on the on the uh, inpatient setting. As well as the outpatient too, so that was fun. Yay, Sante! Can I see it? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, that's really good blending. Look at you. Oh, that's awesome. That's beautiful. I know, right? Oh, yes, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait. That's so fun. I feel like. I feel like Van Gogh with his sunflowers. <laughs> See, anybody can learn to relax this way. This is what I do. Like, this is how I relax is by doing doing art. It's the repetition. Yeah, it's the repetition. It's the just getting lost in it and it's doing. That's what it is, just doing it. Yeah, and there's been studies that show 45 minutes of art making actually lowers your cortisol levels. So everyone's stress levels are super high right now. Um, so this is a really great way to kind of calm down your nervous system and focus on something that's just fun and positive and get that little break. I know for me, when I'm like working on stuff throughout the day and then I get super wound up or stressed, like I can't, I'm not going to be productive anymore after that. So it's just best to step away, calm yourself down so that you can continue to do whatever tasks that you have. Thank you, Stanzi. I, <laughs> I just know I said something amazing. <laughs> I, I almost knew what you were saying though. Cause oh. yeah, almost, almost. Cause I can read lips, but also I've, <laughs> wow. also I've heard you talk about this before too. So that's true. Yeah. So thank you, Stanzi. Yep. Um, are you ready for the vines? Yes. Think so? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to choose a green. I have two greens in front of me. Um, yeah, you got it. I just, just the dark green. Yeah, this works. It just says green. So yep. same, <laughs> same on mine. Same. Yep. So pick a spot. I preferably maybe a larger spot if you can. This okay. is my biggest spot here. Okay. Um, and then my second biggest is probably down here. Maybe I'll show you down here first. Yeah, that's a good spot. That's a really good spot for it, actually. Mm -hmm. Anywhere where you can possibly curve or maybe even do Ooh. curls like that. Um, I'm always going to start out with the stem. And I actually want to show you two ways of doing the stem. So this stem we started off with, or I started off with the, the paint first. And then later on after the paint, then I did my petals and then filled them in with the, uh, with the watercolor. This one over here, I started off first with the crayon and you can see that it's a different color right there. Mm. And then I added the paint on top of it. Hmm. Um, personally, my preferred method, um, for me, because I know how to use a brush, um, and my hand is somewhat steady. Yeah, I can do it. Um, I happen to love doing this part first where I do this, the curl or the vine, uh, or the stem with the brush first. But if you feel more comfortable doing it with the crayon first, then you do that. Okay. okay. So let me show you with the crayon first. Perhaps oh. I'll do it here. Do my little curly. 
and then curl it out like that. Hmm. Cute. Now, if it helps, um, kind of you can kind of think about where you want your stem to end or where you want it to start. So just sort of think about that and aim for that spot. So I can show you another spot with the crayon, perhaps up here. I don't know how much of this you can see, but perhaps maybe I want it to curl here and then reach down here. So um, I have it in my mind, my start and stop place, curl up here, reach down there. Ooh. And then I can show you in a moment what it looks like when you start out with the um, paint first. Now for this part, I always like to do um, pointy brush. So this is the method, if you have a pointy brush, do that one. Um, get my green. I forgot to put water on it earlier. Okay, so with this one, I'm gonna press down lightly. Press down lightly and I have my start spot here. I want to end somewhere down here. Start spot, press down lightly. Swirl it to my end spot. Hmm. Okay. So you can see the difference there. It's just a it just looks a little bit lighter. Hmm. You can you give it a try? Mm-hmm. Cool. You can do it. Yep. Yeah, I would definitely do it. If you have a filbert brush, then you can you can do it with this one too. But my recommendation is to do it with the pointy brush for those of you doing it at home. I mean, if you do it with the square brush, it'll it'll look square. You did it. Yay! Oh, that's a big one! Cool! That's awesome! <laughs> you just went for it. I love it. <laughs> I got <laughs> Cute. excited. You know, we can add some petals to it then. Let's do it! So, I can show you two methods if you want to. Like, on one of these methods, I can't actually tell which one anymore, but on one of these methods, I drew the petals with crayon first. I think I think I did that with this one. I drew the crayon, the petals with the crayon first, um, and then I and then I filled it in with the, but I filled it in really quickly so that you could still see the outline of the petal. That's just my personal preference, but if you want to fill in the whole thing, that's okay too. Um, but with this one, I did the the watercolor first, but then I had to wait for it to dry and before I outline it with the the marker, uh, not marker, the crayon. Okay. So I'll show you what it looks like with both. So here we go. I always, whenever I'm doing these, I always like to start on the bottom of my of my vine. And then work my way up. I can have I can go on either side, make them like this. It's like you're drawing little little footballs or little um, almond shapes. And you can stagger them if you want to. Um, there's always two ways of doing vines. You can have them side by side, where they start right next to each other like that, or you can stagger them like this. I right, have one there. And then one a little further up, and then the next one further up. Depends on you and your preference and how many how many little leaves you want. Now, as you're curling, so is so are your your leaves. Your leaves are also going to be curling inward too. Hope that makes a little bit of sense. And they're also getting a little bit smaller too. Ooh. I say that and then continue to make some bigger ones. Like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And your leaves, if you want them to, yeah, yeah. they can touch the stem. 
Um, but if you don't want them to, they don't need to touch the stem. Like I always just tend to make the leaves just separate from the stem and I, I just find it easier to do that. I don't know why I find it easier, um, but it is a little bit more abstract if you like that. But if not, they can always stem from the stem. Now maybe I can do some of that up here. Although it might be kind of cool to see a little mix of both of them. Like the watercolor first, but also the crayon. We'll see, let's see. Whenever you're ready, Stanzi, I can show you how to do um, the brushes, the brush strokes first. I like to call call it the uh, one stroke technique. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Yay. Okay. I'm ready. Got my green. I think I accidentally put a little bit too much water. If that happens to you, if you accidentally, accidentally put a little too much water and it's a little runny, you can always take some of that water and um, wipe it on a paper towel or wipe it on the lid of your watercolor. That way it just sort of takes some of that water away. Okay. So I got it now. And down here, now I'm going to be using the same sort of principle, I guess, um, where my, these are all pointing away like that. It's going to be the same thing with the brush. It's going to be pointing away. So pointy brush, pointing away, but swipe it towards the stem. Swipe towards the stem. And again, you can stagger them if you want to. Got it. Had trouble finding the camera. You can stagger them if you want to. Point away, but swipe towards the stem. Now, same thing, I can touch the stem, like here, or not. I can have them separate if I want to. I always find it easier if they're separate. Like that. Oh. Shorter as they go up here. Okay, try that on my next Pressing one. down a little lighter as you get up here. Now I'll go ahead and put some up here. Moving it down like that i really wish you guys would have could have seen me when i was holding it up here i had my like i had to steady it with my face <laughs> so, like this yeah <laughs> fun times yep. so here i can draw a little bit more on this one up here i wanted to kind of do a combination a combination of both of them. I can even put some in between. And really anytime you're ready, you can actually go in and fill in the, the ones that you drew first with the crayon. Like that, that's how you fill it in. Now I do personally like to do that same one stroke technique, even after I drew in the crayon, 
that's just me personally because I like the inconsistencies. I like the way it looks if you can see the white in between the, the watercolor brush strokes. But that's my personal preference. If you want to go in and you want to fill it all in, you can certainly do that. And then I'll move here to these guys. See that one stroke technique. Not math. No, if you want to. That's out of the. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to this video. <laughs> Listen to all my comments. I want to see you. Now, it's not in the original painting, but I can show you how to. Um, create some filler brush strokes where you just sort of add um, some greenery to the back using that one brush stroke technique. Cool. Like that. Yeah, this is something so that fun. I like to add. Um, oh, yay. Thanks, Savannah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I love, I love this. But something that I love to add when I'm actually teaching paintings um at my other uh when i because I, I teach paintings to to adults as well at another studio um obviously not right now during these times but um i always like to add these kinds of little fillers where i use that same one stroke technique and just fill in the white space here just fill in that white space with some greenery and i can overlap some of these brush strokes if I want to. I think those are overlapped right there. So it's not in this one, but it's a nice way to take up more space without having to work too hard. Do you want me to, Stanzi, do you want me to teach you how to mix some colors, like maybe make some darker greens? I'm very happy with mine. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Oh. oh, they're cute. You have so many too. I love your curls. I love, I love the way your your vines interact really nicely with your your painting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> like they're curling in really nice ways. I love thank it. You. I had fun oh, with that. So cute. This was awesome. Thank you so thank much, you. Hannah. Oh, Some more filler. Oh yeah, and another option if you wanted to. Um, remember how I was I was telling you guys about doing the crayon first and then putting the watercolor on top of it. So if you want to, you can do that, where all you do is follow your lines. Now, I personally, I really like the way this one looks. I don't really want to change it too much, but I'll show you just on the bottom here. Take your brush. Oh, I actually like that a lot. Follow the line, and that's it. And even if you actually accidentally stray away from the line, I'll show you that. Even if you accidentally stray away from the line, it still looks pretty good. Happy accidents, you guys. I love it. I have lots of happy accidents in mine. It's so fun. I will laugh along with you, Stanzi, I promise. <laughs> when I go yeah. back to this video, I promise. Something I love about painting, because I'm a professional musician, sometimes there's, it's hard to turn off my, um, 
analyzing brain when I'm singing or playing music sometimes. Um, I mean, oftentimes it is very free and expressive, but I have, since I don't have really any formal training in visual arts, I don't have any expectations for myself. So I can just play, play and have fun. And it's really, it's really enjoyable. So um, even if you, even if you have an art form that you already do, like try something different because sometimes like it can be really fun. so exciting are you doing any of the the filler or are you doing more vines? i'm i'm um tracing oh, I see. i'm lining in the cool cool my little <laughs> one stroke leaves were not super great so i'm going in and like putting little boundaries yes. around them <laughs> Making them I'm really better. excited to do more of that, but I'm, I think I'm pretty much done with it. I guess I'll just sort of repeat again that we have our, our Create for a Cause event Woo -hoo! Yeah. Woo -hoo! this Saturday. It's going to be, it's going to be um, so yes, cute. The color me excited, excited. Do you have the, the picture that they're going to be doing? Yeah. Yeah. I have a picture actually. Um, back here somewhere. So the picture that we're going to be doing is the same sort of crayon resist technique, but we're instead of using, well, not instead of, if you wanted to use watercolors like this, um, you could, but if you don't have watercolors, that's okay. Um, because we can do the exact same thing with markers. Um, the markers will spread with water. So I literally just scribbled the, like literally scribbled the, the color on top of these little eggs here. Here it is. It's so cute. This is our project for our little Create for a Cause event. And I'm so excited about this. Um, you can do as many of these little eggs as you want to. Um, and I'll even show you how to make these little tulip type things, tulip type flowers too as well, like up here. More of that crayon resist. Like these using tulips? Using crazy funky colors. See, like the tulips, beautiful. Those are so pretty, Stussy. Aren't they pretty? Aw. I needed some. But yeah, toys. like more of that crayon resist. And you can see some of that scribbling that I was talking to you about. Some of that scribbling with the, uh, the crayon. And then I want to say you can see some of the scribble with the pink. I added some pink crayon on top of that and scribbled and then put the, the water on top of it. So that's our Create for a Cause picture that we're going to be doing this Saturday. You can do as many eggs as you want to. So I'm excited for that one because it's Easter. It's Easter. And happy Passover to all of our Jewish friends out there. So there's that. There's also, um, if you wanted to, you can support me with by adopting me um, on our <gasps> Adopt webpage. Anna. Yeah, there should be a link there. There is a link there. Um, where you give monthly um, a certain or give monthly a donation and you'll have access to um, some of my thoughts um, that I write in my artist reports every single month you'll get that um, so um, please adopt me that would be amazing but you can actually adopt any of our artists too um, we have musicians we have Marisa on ukulele we have Caitlin on um, piano, as well as Cassie on piano. We have Jaime on guitar. We have Megan singing. Yes, here's the lovely little um, schedule of events for all week. So um, tomorrow we're gonna have as our last 
um, last little thing for the week, it's going to be live music at 1 p.m. Right after me, again, live art, 10 a.m. And that's tomorrow. So that's our schedule. Feel free to screenshot that if you need to. It's also on our Facebook page. If you don't already like our page, you can go to Facebook at Hard Scene Art and you can find it. The updated schedule each week is on there. And we love seeing what you guys create with us. And we love it when you guys share your um, song requests and all of that. So keep it coming. <gasps> oh, are you? Oh, 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 that's so cute. Oh, you added them in little like dots or like little bits of fours and threes and twos. Oh, they're so cute, Stanzi. I am so excited. Aww. I love it. It's so happy. I love, <laughs> I love it, Stanzi. I really do. Yay. I hope I hope you guys had fun following along. If you did, Stanzi, you did amazing, <laughs> and I you. love that you deviated from your your from the original colors too. I love it. <laughs> Yay, you guys! I love this format. I really hope that you guys uh, can join me next week. Yes, April sixteenth, ten a.m. Same thing that we're doing with Stanzi here. I will give you um, a lesson. And you will be live on Facebook if you wanted to do that. Woohoo! Look at you, Stancy. It's so fun. I love it. Create that. your own beautiful masterpiece right alongside with me. So I hope y'all can join me. Um, this Thank was you, really Hannah. fun. This was really fun. I'm super awesome. happy to have you, Stancy. As we see Thank you. Today. Yes. Is there anything you'd like to say before we we log off? Just keep keep finding, we know everyone is under a lot of strain right now. So keep using your creativity to make moments of joy and self-expression and connection. So till next time, we'll see you. Love you guys. Bye you guys.